So today we are going to talk about uh, audio mixers. So basically, I mean, uh, you you all have seen uh, audio mixers. Some of you may have uh, worked with uh, audio mixers, uh, and uh, you have the idea what a mixer does, right? So, so usually, like uh, the main uh, job of a mixer is uh, to take uh, two or more uh, audio signals, mixes them together and provide one or more output signal, right? So it takes uh, several inputs uh, so in uh, So for example, like in a uh, uh, musical, uh, uh, so generally, like uh, there are uh, vocal uh, inputs and then uh, different instruments like guitars, uh, drums, and then other. Uh, instruments right so, uh, those uh, like mixer uh, takes those uh, different inputs and uh, uh, then mix them so based on uh, their inputs and uh, then output just one or uh, several outputs. Uh, so usually it is a stereo outputs. That means two channels. So stereo means like so. Uh, I don't know whether I mentioned uh, the mono and stereo. Mono and stereo. So usually uh, stereo, so mono means it is just one output. Stereo means it provides two outputs targeting left and right uh, ears. Like even in uh, the uh, uh, speakers, there would be two speakers. Uh, one goes to left and one goes to right, right? So, so later on, uh, we are going to talk about this, uh, like, uh, so the, those speakers and different types and so on. Uh, but for now, like, uh, for example, like even in head, headphones, uh, if it is a stereo headphones, uh, so it, there would be two lines, uh, uh, left and right, of course, uh, left ear and right ear, right? So, so mixer, uh, so usually mixer uh, does uh, kind of complicated things. Uh, so mainly it is functions would be like signal control. So that means uh, the control different aspects of the signal, right? So we, we learn uh, different aspects of the uh, sound signals. Uh, mixer has uh, the functionalities or the facilities to control them. 
and then process it, right? Uh, signal processing uh, is uh, performed. Uh, so the next two sessions of, uh, so after this uh, would be uh, on signal processing, right? In audio production, uh, the role of signal processing, what are the different uh, processing techniques that we are using, uh, they are uh, the, the fundamental theories behind them, those things would be learned uh, or discussed uh, during uh, the next two sessions, right? Uh, so then after uh, learning those things, uh, you may have a comprehensive idea of uh, so what is uh, done or what is uh, performed on uh, audio signal uh, in mixing, right? Mixing plus mastering, right? So then uh, uh, signal controlling, processing, the combination and routing. So combine them together, right? So they may be in uh, different levels and then th those levels would be balanced and then uh, routing. They, the, the signals would be sent uh, to uh, particular uh, routes. Right, so outputs would be, there could be different outputs. So those things would be sent uh, accordingly, right? Right, so uh, mainly uh, these are the key functions. So under that, like uh, they do adjust levels, right? Mainly levels would be adjusted, right? So these different inputs would be in a different levels, right? Vocals and then drums would be in different level, right? Uh, like sometimes like here, there are only uh, six inputs, but actually there would be uh, more than that, right? So we call them channels, right? Different channels. So there would be sometimes in some mixtures, they have like, uh, like 16, uh, uh, I mean, uh, in some cases, like there are four, uh, eight, 16, 24, 32, and so on, 40, 80, like there would be uh, different uh, inputs. So uh, levels would, would be adjusted, right? So we, each input could uh, would be, uh, treated uh, separately and then uh, so based on the input the uh, levels would be adjusted and then enhance sound right with uh, equalization and effects right so sound would be uh, enhanced right uh, so we can add different effects on sound and then where we we can uh, perform uh, equalization or we call EQ, right? Uh, those would, things would be uh, provided and then uh, create monitor feeds, right? It will create uh, outputs for different monitors. Uh, so monitors would be uh, it's basically like, uh, for example, like uh, speakers, create or monitor feeds and then uh, record various mixes, right? And et cetera. So those things would be performed, right? So the, in the audio production, uh, the mixing is the uh, mainly uh, uh, could be the complicated so I would say, so because most of the things would be done and handled there, 
audio uh, mix. Right. So uh, actually we have uh, different types of mixes, right? Like, uh, okay. Right, like, uh, so before that, uh, so let's go to the common uses for audio mixers. Um, so, uh, So you you may have seen audio mixers uh, in uh, uh, so musical shows, right? Like in, in any musical uh, event, right? In uh, university or in your village or uh, in uh, like uh, like uh, uh, any level of uh, musical events, there would be a mix. So if, if, if there's a if there's an event, right? So one thing that we would uh, consider would be who's going to be uh, so who's going to be uh, the mixer or uh, sound. So, so in, in an event we ask uh, sounds go in the So those uh, sounds. Uh, this part, right? It's so mainly mixing, right? Mixing, and then uh, they would provide uh, different monitors, uh, like different speakers and uh, uh, microphones as well. The main part would be here, right? Mixing. Uh, so, musical studios and uh, live performance. So even in uh, music recordings, so they use uh, mixers, like very complicated mixers with uh, high quality uh, mixers. And then in the live performance, uh, there would be some uh, very dynamic uh, type of mu uh, mixers. And then uh, television studios, they have mixers, right? Like uh, Combining sound from microphones, tape machines, and other sources. So they combine uh, different mics. So, like uh, uh, if it is a uh, like uh, any any uh, program, there would be several mics. So those sounds would be mixed and uh, combined. Uh, and then uh, field shoots, so combining multiple microphones into two or four channels of uh, for easier recording. Likewise, uh, like uh, mixing would be involved in almost all the audio production. So, uh, Mixers come in a wide variety of sizes and designs from small portable units to massive studio consoles, right? So there are different uh, types of uh, mixers. Uh, like, uh, so mainly we have two types like uh, analog and uh, digital. analog and digital. So in uh, usually analog uh, mixers are uh, relatively uh, low cost. So usually digital uh, mixers are very expensive. So for example, like uh, so ready. So here, uh, uh, yeah, so these are, I, I hope you can see uh, at our university, so in the studio, so we have uh, uh, these uh, mixers, right? So there are two mixers, uh, the left-hand side is, uh, it is, uh, analog mixer, uh, so it is, uh, sorry. Uh, so 
this one is uh, Behring, Behringer uh, Phoenix. So, so two four four two, right? USB uh, mixer. Uh, the right hand side one. Uh, it is a uh, digital mixer. It is a uh, yeah uh, Soundcraft. Uh, uh, yeah, it's a impact. Yes, that's right. It's a impact. Uh, um, so usually, like uh, uh, the currently, uh, if I compare the prices, so for example, like the analog one would be around uh, three hundred fifty dollars, right? So this one, uh, this particular, uh, this one, uh, not exactly, but around three hundred fifty dollars. Uh, the, the digital one we have here, so it is uh, around uh, so definitely uh, more than two thousand, right? Uh, two thousand five hundred or three thousand in between that dollar, right? So you can see the difference, right? So this is basically like. Uh, this uh, mixer would be uh, kind of uh, a mid-range one. Uh, so we can, you can, we can have like, uh, we, can, we can find more uh, like expensive uh, mixers than this, like analog mixers. And then you can find very simple mixers. Uh, uh, like in, in rupees, uh, like this one would be around maybe, I'm not sure exactly like Sri Lankan price, uh, like maybe 100,000, it's around that. But you can find uh, more uh, cheaper mixers as well. So in this case, there are like 24 channels, right? The analog one, uh, X two four four two, right? It is like uh, actually twenty four. Four and two. Right. The idea is twenty-four. There, are, there would be twenty-four channels. Right. So the uh, and then uh, twenty-four uh, channels and uh, four subs and two stereo outputs. That's the idea. Uh, like, uh, so I'm talking about uh, this one, huh? the left side one. Right. So it is uh, the mixture that we have. Like, if if uh, you have a chance to, like, I, I mo most probably you will have the chance to use that uh, physically, right? So this one. So the second one would be uh, Soundcraft. SI impact. Right. So you can you can check uh, with these names, right? Uh, 
Sort of size impact, uh, this would be expensive. This would be expensive. And uh, uh, as I remember, it had uh, like uh, so more than 40 channels, right? So very flexible. And then uh, when we see this, uh, so on analog ones, uh, like, so you can see a lot of knobs here, but instead of that uh, in uh, digital uh, one, so there would be uh, so many buttons. And then, uh, so we have these uh, uh, like uh, lever like things. So we call them faders, right? So, these are the things that we have, but there are many other different types of uh, mixers. For, for uh, so if you are a uh, professional uh, audio engineer, so then uh, so you can go with this one, no problem. Uh, but it, so if you are a beginner, like you can uh, start with a very simple mixer, uh, that would be more than enough uh, at this level. For example, like I uh, hear, uh, there are mainly like, uh, uh, so we can have so at least eight inputs. So here, like uh, in uh, the, so you can you can see two red inputs are connected to this one here, right? So those are mics, XLR mics. Uh, two mics uh, are connected here, and then uh, so there are some outputs uh, behind uh, this uh, this part. Uh, like so, I, I'll show you some uh, later. Actually, like my plan was to do the today's session at the studio uh, at university, but uh, so I couldn't arrange that uh, because I couldn't go to the university today. Uh, so maybe next week, so I'll, I'll arrange a session. Uh, so let's uh, try to do, uh, uh, so how to handle these things and those things. I'll at least uh, first I will show you on uh, using camera. So I will try to show those things. Right. Okay. Um, so uh, mixers come in a wide variety of sizes and designs, right? Different designs. So sometimes we call them uh, sound desk or sound console. So if you listen, uh, if you hear these words like sound console, sound desk, so th those are mixers, right? So we use uh, different names, uh, different terms uh, for uh, mixers. Right. right. So mainly, uh, if it is a uh, like uh, uh, analog or digital or uh, any uh, uh, type of mixer. So we can see these components mainly. Mainly there are uh, two components and then uh, apart from that outputs, right? So mainly these two things can be seen. Mixer can be seen as having two primary components, mainly two. Uh, channel, channel stripe. Channel stripe and buses. Right. So if I show this. Right. Uh, so usually, uh, if we take uh, 
uh, this uh, image, uh, this one, uh, the left side. Uh, so let's take uh, the left hand side, uh, uh, our analog mixer, right? So we can provide different uh, input. We can, uh, it can take different uh, inputs, right? So those uh, inputs would be connected to this top area, right? So you can see we have already two inputs, like these two red uh, lines. Those are mic inputs. So likewise, we can uh, input, uh, so we can connect different inputs, right? So here mainly like uh, A plus another Sixteen plus, so uh, so there's a combination, right? Like different types of inputs can be taken, right? Okay, so then each input would be handled using these knobs and the fader down here, right? So if we take this one line, right, one line down. Make input take up palhat methian on a men may 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 nobs a palea and a palean up at a puluang a input take a control car. If again nobs palea thino elang input take a nobs ticking elang input take a control car. So then, uh, like uh, down here, uh, way down here, so we have a fade. Are we call apart? Leave a coitin, a hat and head arrangement, even up again faders, you know. The bottom a fade a dacom and him may lie in the Kimapulua may input take a control current. So we can control that input using this line of knobs and fader. So one one line of these knobs and faders we call a channel strip. Channel strip. A channel like a set take it up again of channel strip. So channel means one input, so one channel. So how many channels? Uh, so that means how many inputs that we can take into uh, the mix. Right. So uh, channel strip. So we have channel strip. A number of uh, commonly used routing and processing tools bundled together. Number of uh, commonly used uh, routing and processing tools bundled together. So, uh, in this, uh, okay, so maybe I have another. Ah, oh, yeah. So, here, uh, closer look. So you can see there are different types of uh, nodes, right? So we have uh, like, uh, uh, so input, so we can control the input and then uh, we, we have EQ nodes, we have auxiliaries and then we have uh, pan and uh, equation. So we have different types of nodes. Right. So in the next channel, so we have the same set of nodes. Right. right. Okay. So uh, Should be called a, a track strip, maybe applied to one or no more channels. Right. So, physical mixers are made of numerous channel strips. So, usually uh, the, the mixers, there would be a different number of channels so like 4, 12, 16, 32, 64. Yeah, it could be different. Right. Not only these numbers, there could be 
different numbers. Huh? But in uh, to our case, like uh, so, this one uh, it is 24, 24 channels. Then buses, the signal uh, destination. The bus means a signal destination. So after taking the input, so we do uh, different things on that, and then we uh, uh, generate the output. That signal destination is called bus, buses, uh, a repository that signal leads into output may go to another channel of physical output. May be called mains or main bus, groups or subgroups, or auxiliaries or auxets. Right. Aux, right. So this is the mistake. Uh, this is. So usually, uh, so here, right, um, those things are controlled. So you can see uh, from left to right. If you go left to right in this, uh, so on this. Uh, uh, analog mixer, right? The left hand, left hand side, left to right. Then right hand side, right? Like a right hand corner there, right? So you can see like a set of uh, faders together. So those are different from the faders in the left hand side, right? Um, so like, uh, yeah, like this, right? So here, so main mix and then subgroups. So we have four faders here, right? So then uh, we have different buttons. And a set of knobs uh, up here. Right, so this area is mainly uh, for buses, right? The destination. So output. Decide the output, right? So the channel strips and buses. So those are the main two things that we can see on a mixer uh, panel. Right. Okay. So let's uh, talk uh, one at a time. First, let's go with uh, cha uh, channel uh, strip. Right. So this is the uh, the same uh, uh, type of uh, mixer uh, that we have here. The left hand side uh, analog mixer. So then if we take one uh, strike uh, here, channel strike, right? So these are the, so mainly uh, this wouldn't be the same, but so most probably uh, in most of the uh, channel strikes, so these things would be there. Uh, so top one, uh, so up here, so it would be uh, usually XLR audio input. So if you remember that uh, when we talk about the uh, different uh, types of cables, we talked about XLR cables. So uh, usually like uh, in, uh, it's in most of the cases like uh, the microphones, 
could provide uh, XLR, so XLR mics. Uh, so they have uh, they ha they have three pins, right? Three pins. So the it will take these three pins into these three holes. Right. Then uh, apart from that, uh, so you can have uh, TS audio input. So if you remember uh, TS, uh, so it is. Uh, when we talk about uh, audio, uh, cables, so we talk about TS cables. So the TS input can be taken. So usually it could be a mic or it could be uh, some uh, instruments like uh, a guitar input, right? Likewise, uh, those inputs can be taken there. Right. So uh, the, the inputs would be different inputs would be here. So here in uh, there are two inputs can be taken. Right. In some cases, there would be multiple inputs, also more than two inputs. Then uh, control the XLR audio input. So we have a knob here. Right. So we can control its uh, levels, right? And then uh, so in uh, most of the cases, we may have a compression, right? Compression, right? Uh, I don't know whether we can see that. Uh, yeah. So here, uh, this is uh, our case. This is uh, the uh, channel strike. So there are three inputs can be taken. Three inputs can be taken, XLR and two keys. And then uh, the first knob is to control the input. All right, so here uh, those uh, three inputs up here, right? So those three inputs, uh, the first one XLR, the second one line in, uh, so most probably an uh, instrument can be taken there. And then uh, insert IO, right? So the compressor can be taken there, right? And then, uh, so you can see numbers, right? One, two, three, four. So the uh, channel uh, numbers are there. And then down uh, that number, the first note would be uh, for uh, input gear, right? So you can, you can control the input, right? Input gear, right? Then the uh, second one would be compressor, compressor. The, the, usually compressor, uh, so the, the color would be like, uh, like uh, it is like uh, blue, right? Blue color. The second note would be compressor. So usually compressor is used to, uh, it's mainly, reduce the uh, difference between the highest or the loudest sound and the uh, lowest. Input again means sound satara input loku venasa. Right. Sometimes we, I mean, it is up to you whether you use a compressor or not, right? So it is uh, to control that. And then uh, we have four knobs after that, right? Those four knobs are for EQ. So you can see if you, uh, I don't know whether it 
is clear, it is it says EQ here. See, so these four knobs are for EQ, right? So we have uh, low, mid, mid uh, high, right? So let's see. Uh, so the, uh, when we when we talk about a uh, signal processing and then mixing, what is EQ? So what we do with e this EQ? Then we have uh, auxiliaries. So here, down here, o A U X. So those are auxiliaries. And then uh, we have four with uh, red and uh, orange and then uh, the last one would be uh, the pan so if you i don't know whether you can see pan so you can uh, change uh, its input into left or uh, right output and a one path the mic speak the one path the control command And then the uh, so after that we have the fader. Right. And then uh, this uh, auxiliary. So so we have red ones and uh, orange ones. So the red ones are called. Uh, pre and then the, the other ones are post as I remember, right? So we are going to talk about them later, right? Uh, so, so mainly, uh, so those are our channel stripes, right? So uh, in my note, uh, yeah, so mostly those things, would be given here. So these are inputs, and then uh, XLR input controller here. Input gain, we call input gain, and then onboard compressor, and then uh, four usually four knobs for uh, EQ, high frequency, low frequency boost, cut, and uh, Paper work made, right? So then auxiliary is a uh, two. In here, yeah. So there are three here. Right. And then pan, pan, this one. And then mute switch. So it could be there. I don't know whether our one. Yeah, so there's a switch here to mute. There, there are some other buttons you can see, like here uh, on top of. Uh, uh, so if you see down number one, number one, the first note, right hand side of the first note. You can see, so there's a small button here, low cut. So you can uh, uh, so low cut means that you can remove some uh, low frequencies. Right? There are several buttons are there. And then, uh, so we have the fader, even with the fader, so we have several buttons, solar switch, subgroup switch, and main out switch. We can select, uh, so how this, uh, how this uh, channel would be uh, output uh, by using this uh, 
switches. Right. Okay. Right. So, uh, so here we talk about the, uh, those uh, channel stripes uh, in detail. Right. Like, I mean, uh, those are given with a little more details. Right. So. So we have amplifiers, right? The amplifier means we can control, uh, for example, like uh, here, XLR in uh, audio input, input gain, right? Input gain, uh, you can control the input uh, audio, it's gain, right? It is an amplifier, basically it is an amplifier. And then processors and distributors, bus societies, right? So these uh, uh, channel stripes uh, are uh, not necessarily to be uh, vertical, right? But sometimes it would be horizontal as well. So like here, right? So underline these uh, stripes, so there would be uh, relevant uh, circuitry is uh, arranged uh, to uh, do the uh, real processing of those things. So the common modern uh, mixers are usually uh, vertical, right? But uh, they are, uh, to, if you see some horizontal ones, uh, so those are, those could be, they are doing right. Right. So these are the uh, components. These are the components of uh, channel uh, stripes. Uh, so input or input selector. So then we have preamp. Preamp means uh, this one. So amplifier. We can amplify, we can uh, change the level of uh, the, the gain of the input, right? The level of the sound. And we can trim, so we can uh, reduce, so we can, uh, we can remove some parts uh, of the audio signal. Preamp, trim. Line mic level uh, switch uh, and then uh, pad pace and then uh, low cut filter. So low cut button was there. So uh, as I uh, uh, shown uh, earlier, so this uh, so we can uh, remove some parts of uh, the signal and then uh, EQ and dynamic. This is uh, one of the main part of uh, the uh, mixer uh, channel strike. So then uh, with the EQ, uh, shells and uh, parametric EQ and uh, uh, so we can uh, add dynamic effects such as uh, limiters, compressors, gators, and expanders. So th these things are so mainly these. Uh, uh, so most of these things would be discussed under uh, signal processing, right? What are these things? Uh, so then uh, you will have better idea, right? So then uh, we can uh, mute. And then we can uh, uh, select solar control. 
those buttons are there. Uh, so again, as we know, is not relevant, but fader. But fader is this part, this one. That's a fader. And then insert. Uh, serial processor slot and then auxiliary sense for parallel processing or fader controller bus aside right uh, then panning and bus aside right so uh, these uh, so basically these things would be can uh, done uh, to uh, set the output so mainly the output of where it should be uh, end up with and then uh, so we have uh, some uh, Additional components like uh, uh, pad button uh, reduce input level gain by uh, 20 dB, uh, 20 decibel. Uh, so, this is useful to plug a line level source into my kit. So, input level is uh, reduced. So when we do this, so it is necessary to reduce the input level So different levels. So as I remember, like we talked about, uh, so there are different levels like line level and uh, mic input uh, likewise. Uh, so we have different levels uh, to uh, when we mix or when we uh, combine those together. So we have to do these things. Right. So then uh, we have pace selector, uh, uh, change the pacing at the input stage for equipment and cables wired with different pacing. Right. So the pace can be selected. And then uh, phantom power uh, provides small voltage back up input cable to power a microphone or other device. Right. So in uh, some microphones, so they need phantom power. So that power would be provided to that input, right? So, in, uh, so when we uh, connect a microphone, right? So there would be a line of uh, electric current going to the mic, So we call phantom power. Right? If power eka me, ape me mix eka, mix again, power eka kya ono mic eka. It is called phantom power. So there's a button for phantom power as well. Right? So these are some additional features provided by the mixer uh, channel structure. So just give me uh, one minute. Uh, so I will check. Uh, so check.
Right. So uh, if you can see uh, this one, uh, so this would be uh, the look of uh, the back side of the mixer. So there are uh, like here, you can see main output. If you see uh, the left hand corner, there would be two uh, outputs, right? So one is uh, the top one is left and the uh, bottom one would be right. So those would be uh, going to left hand uh, uh, speaker and right hand speaker. Uh, and then uh, actually those uh, outputs are XLR uh, outputs and then we can have uh, different types of outputs as well and then so we have auxiliary sense the direct outputs sub outputs and so on. different outputs can be taken right So the next one would be inserts section. Uh, direct send return or insert access point can be used to send the line level audio signal to an external processing device. So the dynamic processors equalization and effect processing only affect the signal uh, passing through the selected IO channel, right? Console wide signal processes such as reverb and effects are often controlled through auxiliary effect uh, send section. Uh, so here, uh, so this one, uh, uh, Actually, uh, because of this, uh, headphone, so that part is actually, uh, closed. So, yeah. so here, uh, so around this area, so we can, we can set actually even in this image you cannot see that uh, so next week i will i'll show those things so the effects can be some effects can be added to uh, uh, the output right like uh, for example like river right? uh, and then uh, echo or delay right those type of effects can be added, right? I can get a pretty don't care for this out there. But never get effects at current of the sound. A cut up, we may or we did that current Nikila set current day with the main channel strike. Right, so, so finally faders. So these are the faders down here, right? So each channel has its own fader, slider or no. Like in our case, it is a slider, right? So we can slide this uh, button up and down. Uh, so in some cases there would be a knobs as well to adjust the volume of the channel C. So uh, we can control the volume of the channel. Channel C. A fader is a uh, 
poten potentiometer or a variable resistor, right? Uh, there are two ways uh, to adjust the channels level, uh, the input gain and the output fail. So input gain can be changed uh, on top here, right? So here. And then, uh, So output fader can be used to change the so output level of the sound. Right. So make sure the input gain provides a strong signal level to the channel without clipping and leave it at that level. Use the fader for a finer ongoing adjustment. Right. Based on the input gain, so you have to decide uh, how to adjust uh, using the fader. Then uh, audio metering, right? So metering uh, means using visual display to monitor audio level. So uh, the audio level would be displayed uh, visually using uh, this type of uh, lights or this type of uh, uh, meter. Helps maintain audio signal at their optimum level and uh, minimize distortion. Right? So there are two types so, uh, PU meter and PPM meter. EPM meters are very good for reading fast transient sound. Their pops and uh, distortion are a problem. Basically, uh, audio meters. Right, so, uh, channel stripes, right? And then let's talk about uh, buses. If you see uh, the uh, so again, give me just one minute.
Right. Okay. So sorry for the interruption. Uh, so I hope you can see this image. Okay. So. <clears throat> So this is the rest of that, right? So we have the channel stripes, right? So one to up one up to sixteen here. Right. One up to sixteen. You can see the numbers. Right. So then uh, up here, right, you can see uh, there's a small uh, display uh, which uh, displayed number two. So that's where we can <clears throat> add uh, to FX, right? So there are several FX, uh, like maybe 16 FX here, that you can inbuilt FX so as you can add. And then, uh, so usually uh, the bus area, so if we take our, uh, so the console here or the mixer console here, so this area, this uh, highlighted area, would be considered as the bus, right? Channels may output to one or more bus, right? Other channels may take a bus as an input. It is used for grouping and processing related channels. Distributing submixers to other uh, processors or outputs, right? So these are buses, right? So mainly, uh, so here, so you can see so this area like auxiliaries and then this down here. So the, these are the effects uh, area that is not related to this, but uh, so you can see there are different effects. So you can change that using these uh, nodes there. So then we can control the output using this uh, area down here. Right, this area, mainly this area, main mix and then subgroup. Right, so in the main output, so the final output destination to a physical output may be stereo or multiple channel. Right, final output uh, would be uh, it could be uh, so you can output into a uh, speaker or it could be input uh, to uh, other destinations, right? 
it's a main output. Then sub outputs, buses to alternative physical outputs. Uh, for example, a stage monitors. And then uh, control room, a bus de uh, designed to deliver audio to the engineer, not the main output, right? So the, right, so usually like uh, there's an audio engineer and then uh, uh, suppose it is a live audio, right? Uh, live show. So the inputs are coming from different uh, uh, inputs and then uh, into different channels. And then output is going to a different outputs like a different uh, speakers around the uh, the event. Uh, then uh, there should be one special output should go into the engineer. So engineer should check how uh, the output levels are and then based on that he can control. The engineer may control So there could be main output and sub outputs and the control group. Buses are uh, designed to uh, these uh, different outputs. So then uh, grouping, assign a number of channel to a group channel. So that means uh, uh, we can take several inputs or several channels and uh, group them together into a one output like this. See? And then we can mix them into the other outputs and then we can output to the master output. This is called grouping. Use the group channel for shared processing or fader uh, control. Then assign the group to the main output. Then auxiliaries. Uh, So in auxiliaries, channel type uh, bus assignment with a rotary fader uh, used for creating a submix different from the channel fader position. Right. So if you remember, like in uh, each channel, right? So there are auxiliary uh, uh, knobs. So using the uh, these auxiliary knobs, right? So we can take them into a monitoring system and then uh, to effect units. So we can do different effects on them, right? And uh, we can send it to the uh, master stereo output after that. used to provide different mix to monitors or outboard processors. So uh, there are uh, two types, pre or post fader, pre fader uh, or post fader. Right? So that's why we have three, uh, four auxiliary uh, knobs uh, on our uh, mixer. Right. And then uh, on a physical mixer, a physical output might be labeled auxiliary or auxiliary same. Uh, so I was uh, no.
right so here uh, in the uh, so on the uh, back side of the uh, mixer right uh, so here uh, right so this is uh, how it is so the back side of the mixer so you can see there are outputs are here right so you can see from the right side one right the right hand mixer but there are two outputs like a yellowish color two outputs are going into these two uh, uh, speakers down there right so so this is the output, right? So here you can see main outputs, auxiliary sense, and sub outputs. Auxiliary sense, there are four here, and then sub outputs. Right? It's different types of outputs. So we have given, uh, we, can, we, we have taken only the main output here. Right. right, okay, so that's auxiliaries. So auxiliary, uh, pre or post fader, uh, so we can select pre or post fader. Uh, auxiliary output from each channel uh, can be either pre fader or post fader. Pre fader output stays the same level, whatever the fader is set to. The post fader output is depend on the fader level. If you turn the fader down, uh, the auxiliary output goes down as well. Many mixers allow you to choose which method to use with select a button. You can select post or uh, pre. Okay. When you uh, use auxiliaries. So then uh, output from audio mixer. So we have master section. So monitor feed and headphones, uh, all the control that modify overall functions. Master fader controls the level of the main studio output, right? So there are several faders, right? Even in our case, there are several faders. So you can see, see, so this is the main audio or main fader, and then we have some others. Then monitor feed, uh, dedicated monitor feed, which can be adjusted independently of the master output. Right? So there could be a dedicated monitor feed. So for different outputs or different uh, speakers, so we can adjust them different, separately from uh, independently from the master output. Master output again independently, Anit uh, monitors handle current pull uh, Headphones, the headphone output may be the same as the monitor feed, or you may be able to select separate source to listen to. So, usually, uh, you can listen to uh, using headphones. So basically, like uh, uh, if you are a sound engineer, so there's a separate uh, so monitor feed for that uh, for headphones. In, uh, some uh, uh, mixers. So then auxiliary sense subgroup outputs and. Uh, 
those are these right like uh, auxiliary sense sub outputs and so on. the outputs of the mixer auxiliary channels some consoles have the option to output each subgroup independently right so like in our case uh, then communication talkback channels some consoles have additional output channels available for communicating with the stage recording booth etc right so apart from uh, these uh, main outputs there could be some uh, uh, outputs to communicate with uh, the sound group those are mainly the output Right, so now, uh, so if you have confused with uh, what are all these things and so on, so this is this and uh, the next uh, one would give a brief summary. Right, right like if uh, we take a recording system, uh, so this would be. Uh, general structure right so the sound energy generated acoustically uh, and then sound energy from electronic instruments other external sources uh, would be taken into mixing decks but in uh, the first case acoustical to electrical conversion So uh, that conversion would be done using microphones, and then all things goes into the mixing desk as inputs. So these are inputs, and then uh, auxiliary sense, and then. Those would go into cues and the uh, fallbacks, and then effects uh, units into effects units, and then effects units will uh, send them to auxiliary returns, and then it will go into mixing decks as well. If you say. And then the group outputs, uh, multi track recorder, and then it will go as well. And then, uh, so finally, in the mix bar, uh, bus, uh, so the then monitoring. And then uh, two, uh, two track master. So this should be the general structure of a recording system. So, and uh, if you take uh, the audio signal flow through a mixer, so it would be something like this. So we have an input and then it would be trimmed. And then Be the insert and then low cut okay. that would be the input before the EQ. Okay. So then EQ would be performed right. So then if we mute, so it will be uh, not uh, considered and then uh, the muting would be handled here. And then the fader 
would take the control after that and then fanning and then assigning into uh, output so monitors and then uh, before eq so before eq we take the pre signal if it is pre auxiliary right that signal would be taken before eq and other the fading the fader operations before that the signal is taken into auxiliary if we select pre pre switch if it is paused then after all these things after fader we take the signal into auxiliary right. so this is basically the uh, flow of the uh, this would be the flow of the uh, mixer, right? Signal flow, right? Uh, right. So, uh, so mainly. Uh, next two sessions uh, so we will learn these things like for example like so eq what we do right so then uh, panning like this that sort of thing right uh, so most of these other things are for example low cut trim so what are the uh, what is the theory behind that those things would be at all uh, uh, discussed in the next two sessions and then apart from that like uh, the effects different effects that we can have right like delay what is delay and then what is uh, uh, reverb so those things would be discussed mainly uh, in the next uh, two sessions here like uh, signal processing so what are the steps of the signal process of uh, the, uh, the mixing? Right, so uh, today, uh, so under mixer, so we talk about this, right? And then uh, uh, next week, uh, so hopefully like uh, if possible, so I will do the session at the uh, audio uh, and video studio at the faculty. Uh, so I can uh, show these things uh, using a camera or something uh, to you. Right. Uh, actually today, my plan was to do that, but uh, so today, so I had something else. Uh, so could, didn't have time to uh, go to the faculty, right? Okay, right. So that's all for today. Uh, so do you have any questions? So if you have any questions, you can ask. I will share some videos uh, like uh, the last time. Uh, so on uh, mixers and then uh, uh, different uh, like analog and digital mixers and then uh, some uh, relevant uh, uh, information uh, regarding mixer. So those things would be shared. Uh, LMS. Uh, right, so I'll, I'll share these uh, notes uh, on uh, LMS. And then, uh, so regarding the next. Uh, uh, 
maybe last week would be the uh, yeah i mean next week would be the last week for you on this uh, so in this uh, semester so therefore i have to find uh, some extra time to do so next week yeah so i can uh, do uh, so ma mainly uh, uh, the signal processing part and then another session would be needed so let me check uh, and uh, the other thing is uh, like these days it is difficult to do uh, lectures uh, after five because uh, there would be power cuts and no so let me check let me check how i can cover that uh, so So I will I'll arrange something for that. Okay. Uh, right. Okay. Uh, then uh, for the practical sessions, the practical sessions would be I think uh, so. It. Uh, we may have uh, flexibility, uh, so I will try to do some uh, additional practical sessions uh, even after the semester, and then uh, so basically, if we have a chance to do practicals, we can uh, do the rest uh, the practicals. Uh, so you can uh, take your time and uh, use the. Uh, audio uh, audio lab or the audio uh, studio uh, for the practicals right okay so that's all for today uh, so if you have anything uh, regarding audio production techniques just message me uh, and then uh, uh, as you can see, uh, like uh, as a uh, I mean, uh, so audio engineer, like uh, the things should be uh, uh, learn by doing those things. So that's uh, the most important part. But in uh, in this case, like uh, like you can do things, so you can do experiments with your uh, DAO software. Uh, so like uh, at your home, but uh, uh, the mixers, uh, I don't think uh, or, so. Most of you uh, have the, uh, the those facilities. So in that case, uh, so. I have a big concern on uh, the practicals. Uh, so let's see if we can manage. Right, okay. Uh, so thank you for joining. Uh, so I'll let you know the uh, next session. So definitely next Monday we will have the additional session. I'll let you know the uh, date and time. Right. Okay, so. See you in the next session. Have a, a nice week. Uh, stay safe.